guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews and um, with no spiders tonight. <laughs> so guys, I was going to wait till tomorrow to do this, but, so my makeup looks crap, but it don't matter. You've all seen me bare face and you've seen me nice makeup and now you've seen me with being on all day looking like crap makeup. So guys, I had a delivery about 25 minutes ago. I wasn't going to come back on film tonight. I did have my jammers on. I've got my jammer bottoms on. Just put a clean t-shirt on so I don't look like a tramp. And um, thought I'd show you guys, my new backdrop turned up and this is just for Halloween. My other one which you've seen, which is the um, conifers, I'll probably keep that all year round. Oh, then again, I don't know, because I kind of like this, it's all year round. But guys, I'll let you take a look. So, let me talk about what you see in front of you. So, I went for this one guys, because it was on Amazon and I knew I was going to get this. I never received my Jack Skeleton one. There is a small possibility I may still get that yet. We will see. But for now, we've got this one and it's got hanging backs. It's got pumpkins that are stuck in the trees. Here is all the tree design. And then you've got a church here that's slightly lit up. And we've got a graveyard going on with lots of spooky bats. And I kind of like this, guys. It image looks a little bit blurred, but it was a bargain. So my husband bought me this because he's got the he got the money back for the other one because they didn't even put it as dispatched, even though he said it has been sent and it may have been lost in the transit. We got our money back and we purchased this from Amazon last night and it's come tonight. So happy days. Right guys, the long awaited TK Maxx and the range Halloween items these are the last of my decoration guys yeah i'm not gonna buy anymore because this brought the bank so i'm gonna get on with what i've got in front of me and we'll discuss what's in front of me so guys i will show you one item that you've seen in a previous video recently is which is the hand dispenser which i bought from tk max and it was 7.99 i have gone ahead and put some stuff in this now I've always wanted the mister to this and I've never ever seen it. I bought like a mister kind of cup that you put brushes and stuff in, which goes right next to this. But today I went on a mission and on that mission, I found a mister. And did I buy it? Hell yeah, there was no way I was leaving it. So guys, here is the mister. Oh my God, I am so excited. What am I going to put in this? I haven't goddamn made my mind up yet. But how sweet is this? So this is made by Cross Chill, Cross Kill, which must have been the same as this because I took all labels off. But $7.99, guys, same price. So here is the mister, which is empty, so it's quite light. This one is full of hand cream. And here is the mister. What am I going to stick in this one? I'm not too sure yet because this is my hand cream. I am thinking of maybe putting... Maybe um, buying a big tub of body lotion, sticking it in here. I haven't decided yet, but I'm not going to put these in my bathroom because they're too nice to put in my bathroom. Zach is lackadaisy and they'd get broken and my husband would knock them off and I wouldn't be a very happy woman. So they are going in my bedroom, hand cream, body lotion. What do you think I should put in there, guys? Pop a comment on below and tell me what you think I should put in there. But that was $7.99. <coughs> Obviously, I've already bought this. And then I seen this, guys, and just could not resist. I am terrible, guys. You keep me away from TK Maxx. That's why I'm glad I'm going in hospital next week because I might save some money, like, for about eight weeks. <laughs> so I'll have enough money to finish Christmas. So this one is a Mr. Skull. That The head comes off. Now, I've got two of these, but they're not the same kind of material, like the resin. This is the pot. That one was more of a, a different pot, like a resin pot. Now... <coughs> In this, yes, I am going to put my cotton pads. So hand cream, maybe face cream and cotton pads. So it's kind of still beauty, guys, but it's like things you need to go with your beauty. So this one, guys, was $3.99. And I thought, and it says mug shots, not suitable for microwave use. Now, I don't know if people would put something in the kitchen, probably kitchenware in this, but my kitchen is all um, retro camper vans and mod homes and that kind of thing, so oh, that's the theme of my kitchen. I don't really have any skulls in my kitchen. <coughs> it's all like motorhomes and WVs, that kind of thing. 
So I think I will put all three on my dresser and I just think they'll look perfect. Right, so we'll stick to TK Maxx for now, guys, and then we'll move on to the range. So that was that. And then, guys, these got delivered. I could not resist. This one I bought today, so I went to TK Maxx. The next two items you're going to get were delivered. And I know I'd ordered this before my husband ordered me this, but this is more of a hand mirror. And I thought that the other one that I was ordering was, was bigger, but it's perfect. So guys, let's put you out your misery. So this is, oh, I know I'm not supposed to hide it guys, but check out this beauty. This is this skull mirror. Now I know that they did these in silver and they had a different kind of stand, but guys, I absolutely love it. I love it. It is quite heavy guys, which I think is a good thing when you're doing your makeup. And um, I do like the whole image. God, I look shocking. My eyebrows are kind of fading. So there's three skull designs and then there's like an entwined rose bush going up along the side and then it stops here. And then there's a rose design at the top of the mirror. It's very vintagey and it's like gold. I am torn where I want to put this guys. I'm like, do I put this down here and use it for when I do my makeup? Because obviously I have my big table in front of me and this is where I do all my, this is my studio. So I was thinking of maybe putting it on the shelf and keeping it there. But I have concrete floor in here. So if anyone was to knock it and it got broke, I don't think I'd be very happy. So I'm not too sure if I want to keep it in here, guys. I mean, obviously I've got my hand mirror, which is my angel um, clothing mirror. So I'm not too sure, but guys, isn't she beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. And it is a proper solid piece. Um, and I love it, I love it. So that was that, guys. Price, it was 12 99 guys. So I think that was an absolute bargain. Now this was 12 99 guys. This was 14 99 So there you go. So that was that guys and then I'll show you my next piece. I could not resist guys, it is absolutely stunning. And it's a she by the way. I'm going to put my rings on here because <coughs> I'm going into hospital and I don't want to have my rings with me because I have like princess cut diamond in there and it's platinum. So I probably will take my rings off. And I'm going to put it on my ring holder. <laughs> so guys, I've got to stress something about this as well. So this is my skelly hand. I do have two long scaly hands that are cupped like this with like tea light holders in that I have on my big dresser upstairs, my unit. I just love this. It's just, it's actually my hand. My hand actually fits perfectly, which is kind of cute. So I'm gonna put my rings on top of there. And just to show you guys, just to show you, this is the ring that my, my kids got me. So a ring just balances on there and it just sits on there. And I just think it's absolutely amazing to put all your rings on there. I don't wear a lot of rings, guys, but I probably, I have got a lot of alternative rings, like skull rings and stuff and weird and quirky kind of rings. So I probably will put them on there. Now, guys, this was $6.99, okay? So I had this delivered. When I went into TK Maxx today and I found Mr. Scully, I just went up to have a look to see <coughs> if they had any unusual cups and stuff. Obviously, I grabbed them two over there. But they had one of these, and I'm not joking, guys. These two fingers were broke off it to the to the bone, <laughs> to here, and it just had these two fingers and a thumb, and they'd reduced it to six pound. Guys, it's six ninety nine to have all four fingers on thumb. How can you justify like putting it down to six pound when you've got two broken fingers? They've not even got the fingers to glue back on it. It was just two fingers. I personally think that should have gone on for like maybe £1.50, £2 or something, because what good is it without your fingers? So that's my little rant about TK Maxx. You need to be realistic when you've got broken items, to reduce them. They had a lot of broken Halloween items, I must say, and I'm just kind of relieved that these didn't come broken. But this, this is her, guys, and she's absolutely stunning. So that is my TK Maxx. You might think that's short and sweet, but trust me, guys, it all amounts up when you think like... £13 and then you've got £7 there and then you've got these that I've got today. So, oh yeah, the hat, the hat. So this was delivered as well. So this was from TK Maxx. This was, for, um, I think it was 4 99 guys. Now, you seen me wear this earlier on and as you can see, I absolutely love it. 
But there's a reason why I bought this. It wasn't to put on my head. So we're going on to the range now, guys. Now, I had things delivered because the range for me is quite far out. So, and I can't get there on my own. I can't get there by bus. So this came, but I got it to go on this. So, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. So this is, it's like a, um, it's like polystyrene, guys, but a really thick polystyrene. But as you can see, it's called the Haunted Hollands, and it says I light up. So guys, I may have to turn my lights off here to see this, but he lights up. Now, let me just go ahead and turn the lights off, or at least one of them, so you can see. So guys, can you see? He is absolutely perfect. So he's got lights inside guys, and this is brilliant at night, but I got the hat for it to sit on top. So guys, it sits on top like this, and it's just a little button that you press, and then voila. So all together, I think this was nine pound all together, guys, but how amazing is that? And he's gonna go on top of my shelf after Halloween. He will stay out with the hat. So that was them two guys. Let me just put that back there and put my light back on because it's quite dark. <coughs> right, so we are at the range. So I got that skull from the range, like I said, I think it was four pound. I picked up two bags, guys, and um, <coughs> I've got these in case, in case my husband does go trick or treat my Zach. <coughs> Unfortunately, I can't because I'll, I'll be like off my feet and mobile. But these are the sugar skull bags, guys, and they are proper shopping gift bags. Now, I was thinking of framing these guys, to be completely honest. I was going to get two big frames because I got two of them and they were two ninety eight each. I was going to put frames and put them on my wall, either side of my um, coffin shelf that I'm having made. Just to give it a little bit of colour. I have got black and white skull paper as well. So so I thought these were really nice, guys. And these are quite hard wearing as well. Or you can wear them as a gift bag. I mean, obviously I've not brought them or anything because I was hoping to use them for something else. But I do have a big basket, like big cauldron that I got last year for sack. So my husband may use that. But that were them, guys. So last but not least, I've saved the best to last, and I think these are absolutely goddamn amazing. And um, I haven't decided where I'm going to showcase these, but let me tell you a story. As a kid growing up, I grew up mainly in the 80s, because I was born in 77, so I'm 42. And I grew up with Michael Jackson as my, um, my thing. I used to go dancing and I used to dance like Michael Jackson. And <laughs> I, mean, I think back now I think, oh God, but I did used to dance like Michael Jackson. I had posters of them all over my wall and Madonna and stuff like that. And um, when I seen these, I just knew I had to have them and they weren't that badly priced either, guys. So here is the first one. So this is Skelly Jackson. <laughs> so as you can see, it's Michael Jackson as a skeleton. And that seems really poignant because like, he's not with us anymore. And yeah, not a lot of people like follow him anymore. But to me, he was still my childhood kind of music thing, my fan. I mean, I didn't, obviously when I got a bit older and I started listening to like Alice Cooper and stuff like that. And yeah, um, I didn't really follow Michael Jackson anymore. But I think these are absolutely goddamn amazing. So the detail, so as you have a look, guys, he's on a plinth. These are specially made for the range. It does say produced in Plymouth. So it is for the range. So these are only made for the range. You probably wouldn't find these anywhere else. So I take advantage and have a look if there is still some left. These were $8.95 each, guys. Yes, I've got two. Um, so his hat is covered over his eyes. So you can't actually see, not that he's got any eyes. And then his jacket is all ripped. And then you can see the detail of his arm here. And it's kind of like, it feels like wood, guys, like carved wood. It is absolutely amazing. And they're not extremely heavy, but they're heavy enough. So that was that one, guys, which is there for the first one. And then the second one, I love it. So this is the second one, guys. <laughs> He's doing his thing. I love it. So yeah, second one, pretty much the same dude, just in a different light. And a different dance move. I just love the way they've captivated like the whole image 
and the way his jacket's like swaying it's amazing and it actually looks as if he's smiling even though he's a skeleton he does look like he's smiling you can't see the bottom of his eyes i have sat and studied this and it's like oh my god i'm just so amazed they are very delicate guys, so I wouldn't like to like drop this or anything. I wouldn't like to bang it, but his, his fingers are dead delicate. But just look at them guys, just, just take a minute and have a look. Michael Jackson might not have been your thing, but skeletons might be your thing. And I just think these are absolutely fantastic. So the range guys, if you do want them, I'm not too sure if they're gonna have any left because I got these a while ago, to be honest with you. And I've just been waiting for delivery. I'm waiting a long time for a lot of deliveries at the minute. It might be because everybody's ordering at the same time. But that is it, guys. So, recaps. So we've got our Michael Jackson skellies, which I absolutely love. I've got my skeleton hand, which is actually a ring holder as well, which I absolutely love. This one is more of a... Um, pretty much the same as this, guys. They all seem to have that same resin material. And then, obviously, I've got my mirror which I haven't decided where I'm going to put it. I'll let you guys decide where I'm going to put it. Do I keep it down here or do I put it up with my collection upstairs? <coughs> and then, of course, I've got these, the two skulls that I got today and I've got them. And I've also put this out now on my table. I'm going to let the, um, the light hit it and watch it wobble. But I'm going to go back and get a few more of these because I think they're absolutely amazing. Right, guys, so from the little skelly man and from me, it is a good night. I have now finished and completed my um, Corpse Bride um, outfit. It's not going to be exactly, it's going to be my take of Corpse Bride and I hope I do it justice for the alternative um, spooky YouTubers community. So that will be this week guys. I've, I've got to go to hospital on Thursday and be fitted with a heart monitor. Yes, they found a little click, a little issue with my heart. So I've got to have that tested for, uh, I don't know, maybe a few days to find out what's going on there. If they find that there is something wrong, they're going to postpone my operation. So we're a little bit stuck on that one. So we're just gonna wait and see. All right, guys, that is it. Tell me what you think of the backdrop. Do you like it? I love it. Hopefully the Jack Skeleton will still come anyway. And then we've got that one as well. So even better. So like I've said, I've got lots of boxes to come. Um, Hopefully some more items will arrive tomorrow and I've got Killstar coming. Um, <coughs> that hasn't been dispatched yet, I know, because they emailed me today. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching and a happy Halloween because it's coming very, very soon. And um, be sure to watch out for my um, alternative Halloween thing that I'm going to do. My music's finished now. I bought a few things today for props and um, just got to do the face makeup and hope for the best. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.